Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novichko, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's outlook, we're going to start firstly with the Asian shares. They were mostly positive on Wednesday as investors waited, of course, Donald Trump's first full press conference as president-elect to give insights, of course, into the new administration's economic policies. We can see, but however, the Shanghai and the Shenzhen uh, slightly negative. The Shanghai Composite Index 24.25 points down or 0.77%. That's closing at 31.37.42. And the Shenzhen Composite down a little over 1% or 20.86 points, closing at 1968.43. In Japan, as we can see, it, uh, the Nikkei 225 is up 63.23 points or 0.33% to 19, 364.67. The dollar edged slightly higher against a basket of major currencies on Wednesday after its decline ahead of the news conference by the US President-elect Donald Trump, which of course he is expected to spell out some more about his uh, plans for the economy. The dollar, as we can see, is firming slightly three-tenths of a percent up against the Japanese yen at 115.97. And this is uh, after suffering two days of losses against the safe haven Japanese currency. Markets in Europe were slightly lower on Wednesday morning as investors awaited for the first address of President-elect Donald Trump as we mentioned a few minutes ago the pan-European stock 600 index, we can see that it's slightly down uh, a little over two tenths of a percent or 0 0.81 points uh, down. As we can see, major bourses pushing negative territory. The main focus, of course, for Wednesday will be uh, any concrete policy moves from Donald Trump, who is due to speak at a press conference later into the session. He's also expected to outline, of course, some further future uh, on his own business uh, dealings. As we can see, the rest of the year at FTSE 100 down, oh, one point little change at 0.02%. DAX is down 38.26 point or 0.33% down. Currency pairs uh, settled into a narrow range ahead of uh, Trump's news conference, so that is his first since the election. Here we can see that it's slightly down one tenth of a percent versus the dollar at 1.0543, of course, brushing a 10 day high of 1.0628. That was overnight. Sterling dipped uh, also three tenths of a percent, as we can see, or 30 pips down at 1.2144 versus the dollar. Uh, moving away from uh, the 1.2107 set overnight low. As we can see, uh, terms of the Britain's departure uh, from the European Union have kept the currency under heavy pressure this week. However, we can see that gold is uh, moving slightly uh, higher uh, with uh, $4.2 or four tenths of a percent boosting its safe haven appeal. Uh, right now, it's trading at 11 89.8. 82 an ounce as it's often seen as an alternative investment during times of political and financial uncertainty. On Tuesday, it reached its highest level since November 30 at 1190.46. The US dollar, uh, of course, uh, and its strengthening uh, have kept crude oil prices under pressure as well. However, uh, the prices were lifted by Saudi Arabia's um, uh, output cut to uh, Asia, as we have seen in early morning news. Uh, right now, the crude oil, West Texas Intermediate, is trading 1.6% uh, uh, up, or uh, just about 33 cents uh, after its lost settlement at $51.11. That's all from the most important news of today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time again. Bye-bye.